Brendan, when did you know Stephen Gerrard's decision to leave and what was your reaction? How do you feel about it now? I've been in conversation for quite a while with, with Stephen and had an idea of his, of his feelings towards moving forward. But um, he'd always been really respectful in terms of once he'd made his final decision that he wanted me to know first and, uh, and in fairness to him, he, we had a chat a few days before the, the announcement was was made, and uh, so I, I've been fully aware all the way along. I think he's someone who deserves that most respect, and, and that's what I said in, in one of the last press conferences at the time when we were talking that what the guy has done in the game and, and how he is as a person, he deserves that time um, to make his decision, and and the decision is purely at this time for for him and his family. You know, he's been a, and is an iconic figure here at the club and always will be. Uh, and over time, there'll be an opportunity, you know, for him to come back here, for sure. But at this moment in time in his life, he has a chance to experience something different for him when that time comes at the end of the season. And um, as I said, we, uh, you know, at that time then, we'll obviously, that'll bring an end to his, his Liverpool career as a player then. How then do you respond to those who have raised the question as to whether the club could and should have done more to keep him? Well, I think that if you look at I think Stephen's statement, you know, he put out the other day, makes it clear, you know, he's he certainly knew my feelings on what I want to be here. Um, been a brilliant captain for me in my time here, so naturally, of course, I wanted him to, to stay and, and be here. Um, but I think it's, you know, uh, I think his role is, is slightly different. You know, he still sees himself wanting to go on and play for a couple more years. Naturally, at this level, that was maybe going to be tapered a little bit over the next couple of years. Um, he wasn't ready to move into coaching or anything like that yet. You know, he still sees himself <clears throat> very much as a player. Uh, and when that time comes, when he finishes and retires as a player, then and that's maybe something that we can look at then because he's. He's someone, of course, that would be would be brilliant, you know, to be back here as a part of the staff. So, um, but at this moment in time, his concentration is on his on his football. And he said himself, he left here on great terms, both with myself <coughs> and the owners. So, um, I think anything else that's said beyond that is um, would, would be wide of the mark. How much of a possibility then is it that he could still start here? next season maybe coming back on loan depending on wherever he goes obviously well I'm sure you guys will run all the different scenarios <laughs> between now and, and the end of the season I think or the focus is he's still very much a player in the now he, you know he uh, a fantastic player for me in my time here and we've still got the second part of the season to come with some really exciting games and and he wants to be a real part of what we're trying to do here in terms of finishing as high as we possibly can and and delivering a trophy. So, uh, so beyond that, I'm I'm not really thinking.